Hey there, fellow lifestyle cyclists. Uh, Shimano Qs just dropped last week. We did a initial video on it. Uh, since then, there has been a ton of discussion in our Discord server. If you're not familiar with Qs, it is a consolidation of Shimano's lower to mid-tier uh, component groups. For the most part, people are super pumped about it, but there have been some red flags. So in this video, I'm gonna go into some of the finer details about cues. There are a couple of gotchas and bummers and how you can have a cues-like drivetrain today. First off, one of the big talking points about cues has been the compatibility. Cues is going to be offered in nine, 10, and 11 speeds, but they're all gonna use the same chain. They're gonna do this by essentially using 11 speed uh, with cassettes, but just spacing them differently. This I actually like and it makes sense. Incidentally, you can kind of do this now even though it isn't officially approved. Uh, the bike behind me has a totally mixed drivetrain cassette, uh, 11 speed rear derailleur, 10 speed cassette, 9, 10, 11 speed front chain rings, and all unified by an 11 speed chain. The drivetrain of tomorrow, today, or actually yesterday, or months ago. So let's talk about the compatibility and notice the air quotes. So Qs is going to be nominally more compatible, but only compatible within the group sets within the Qs range. For example, if you have a Qs 9 speed rear derailleur, it will work with the Qs 9 speed shifter, but it won't work with a legacy 9 speed shifter which is a total bummer because when I heard all about this cross compatibility, I had assumed, cool, they're gonna still support nine speed. You can dust off all those nine speed shifters and parts and it's all gonna play well together, but Shimano got a Shimano. In the most recent Rivendell newsletter, uh, one thing they mentioned is that Qs is going to have a one-to-one -one cable pull. So what this means is one millimeter movement of the shifter equates to one millimeter movement in the rear derailleur. That doesn't sound bad, but the issue is that legacy shifters and rear derailleurs uh, used a two to one cable ratio. That means one millimeter movement in the shifter equates to two mil in the rear derailleur. Technically it was 1.7, but for marketing reasons, two to one. In effect, that means if you use an older shifter with a one-to-one -one slash Q's rear derailleur, it won't move the rear derailleur enough to cover the entire range of the cassette, even though nominally they could be nine speed. When you think about this, this gets even worse because when you consider all the third-party aftermarket shifters, uh, say by Microshift, Sensa, and even some older SRAM stuff, now none of that stuff is gonna work with the newer Q stuff. Likely this was a total intentional move by Shimano uh, since their lunch was getting kind of eaten by Microshift and these other third-party group sets. So while it looks good on paper, uh, the, the compatibility is only within itself. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse, uh, you know, stuff like the Rivendell Silver Shifter, it was designed around that older cable pull of two to one. Now a friction shifter, which is supposed to be a home run in terms of compatibility, uh, likely won't work with the Q's drivetrain. I know what you're thinking, will the Uno shifter project that we're working on, will it work with Q's? And thankfully, at least in theory, it should work. You guys know I took it down to California and I was using the Uno shifter with a SRAM Eagle rear derailleur. That cable ratio is like 1.1, so pretty dang close. Uh, by transitive properties, since it's essentially one-to-one, -one, it should work with the Q's system. But total bummer that other friction shifters aren't gonna work. Looking at the curly bar front, there are supposed to be road shifters for Q's, but again, there's no specs or dates, so who knows when that's gonna happen. I know what some of you are thinking, you know, it doesn't matter, I've got some 11 speed uh, Ultegra or GRX, it should certainly work with Q's. Sadly, however, if you look at 11 speed road for Shimano, that cable pull is 1.4. If the Q's cable pull is one-to-one, -one, it's not gonna work with it. So much for all the cross compatibility. Uh, again, it's definitely one of those instances where it feels like one step forward and two steps back. I'm definitely stoked that mechanical drivetrains are still gonna be supported, at least for you know, the foreseeable future, but totally bummed that it is doing a hard sever uh, to all those wonderful and great legacy components. Where do we go from here? Uh, since Qs was just announced and the drop bar alternatives are just a twinkle in someone's eye, uh, I want 
wanna introduce you guys to my alternative drivetrain and I'm calling it RAD for really adjustable drivetrain. Let's take a closer look. So like Q's, it works with 9, 10, and 11 speed. Like I mentioned, I have a 11 speed GRX rear derailleur, a 10 speed Sensa cassette, and a nine to 10 speed Soma front crank. And it's all tied together with an 11 speed chain. Totally available now, links in the description below. Uh, you can run it both with flat bars as well as curly bars. Best part is, is it's gonna work with all the legacy uh, components as well as third party components. And when you add the Uno shifter, it becomes the Rad Uno, and it's also forward compatible with Qs, which doesn't exist yet. So take that Shimano Qs, I wanna introduce you to Rad. If you guys found this video entertaining and helpful, please hit that like button or better yet, uh, hit the merch store. Pick up some of our new Save the Front Derailleur stickers. We've also got shirts and help fight plan obsolescence. And as always, keep the supple side down.